If we want to create a custom graph, the first thing we need to do is get some data to graph. Um, sometimes you have just a data table and it's really easy. You have a bunch of numbers. You can work with it from that. Other times you have to extract data from other places. So right now we're going to extract some data um, about our topic, which is the relationship between vaping and anxiety. Um, and so I have a couple of graphs here. We have the number of students vaping um, in 8th, 10th, and 12th grade over the years 2017, 2018. We can grab some data from this. We also have this graphic, which talks about uh, mental health disorders and talks a little bit about um, anxiety disorders and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick out and cherry pick some of this data that helps us prove our point or, or helps us get our specific narrative across. Uh, so what we're going to look at here, obviously, we want to have some of the bigger numbers. It's going to be a little bit flashier. So maybe we'll take the 10th grade um, 2018 vaping information and the 12th grade 2018 vaping information. The, the bigger numbers, bigger percentages of students. Um, and so what we'll do is just come into our spreadsheet and we'll just put something down. And let's say um, 10th graders vaping, 12th graders vaping. We'll just dump that those numbers in and we'll see we have 16.1 uh, and 20.9. And so we'll dump that stuff into here. All right, so now we're gonna need to have a comparison, okay? You, you, when you, anytime you're graphing something, you need to have uh, comparison data, something you're, you're kind of showing it against. And so what we'll do is we'll grab um, some of these numbers here. What we can do is um, we can say, all right, the anxiety disorders prevalence was 19%. So 19% of the people that responded. So we're going to grab that number. Um, uh, you know, again, just for our specific purposes, we're being a little bit um, targeted with the information we're using. Disorders, we said this was. 19% and we just have to have some sort of label over here. So we'll just say um, people just in general. Okay. So that's, that's the basic data we pulled out of this. Not a lot, you know, sometimes you're gonna have a lot more, but this is pretty basic. We highlight all this information here and go to this little icon says insert chart, click on that and it will generate a chart for it. So, this thing pulls out a pie chart. That's not really what we want necessarily. So we can go here and let's go to this one. It says people. And uh, I deselected switch columns and rows because what we want to have is a uh, kind of different, different kind of categories graphed here. So we can see that. From here, we can kind of change things around. So we go to customize. I can change my chart style. Uh, let's say I'm making three dimensional. It looks a little bit flashier and it kind of hides. You know, we had a little bit of height to some of this. So it looks a little bit like they're a little bit closer. Um, my chart titles and axis, I can change, you know, my chart title. It says people right now, which is pretty weird, but you can say uh, vaping and anxiety. So right away in your title, you're relating two things. Um, that you want to have related for the people. Uh, over here on the side, our vertical axis will be um, something like percentage. You know, again, we can keep this a little bit vague because the data isn't perfect, but we're kind of presenting our bar and store with this. Oops, I got out of the edit mode. Um, we can go back, we can say, you know, this is where we can play with a lot of things too. So right now our scale goes up to 25. Uh, if we want it to look scarier, like the numbers are bigger, maybe we just down, we take that down to um, 21 for our maximum value or something like that. Um, or we can change this and make this a lot bigger. So let's say if we go all the way to 100, uh, you know, they're smaller, but they look a lot closer to each other. So again, that kind of helps 
um, the narrative. That's what we want to do with it. Uh, so we, we have all that information. We can manipulate this in a lot of different ways to present our side of the story. You know, maybe we even do this. If I take and move this data in between, it shifts what we have here and we see the anxiety disorder kind of like right in the middle of this. Does that tell a better story for us? Uh, we don't really know um, depending on what we want to do that. Um, so that's that's kind of what we have going on in terms of creating your graphs. And there's a lot of different ways you can customize these. If you just go to your edit chart and go to customize, uh, you can play with a lot, a lot of different things here. Um, you know, where you place your legend, the different series. So if you want to change the colors on these, anything like that, um, how far your vertical horizontal axes are, what they say, all of this can be used to paint the picture of whatever the narrative is you want to tell with your data.